What's it like starting your own game studio? Well, it's quite easy. Just uh, gather the documents you need. Uh, we'll get some people. They know how to do stuff, right? And uh, start making game. Well, as far back as I can remember, I always wanted to make games. So there was never doubt in my mind what I'm going to do later on in life. One thing that worked very well from the start was the fact that Renata had the background in finance. So she, she took a, a CFO role and uh, take care of the accounting, payroll, uh, even HR. So that allowed me to focus 100% on the games itself. It was easy for me to make a decision to, um, to support him in his vision what Big Blue Bubble one day could be. It was a little bit challenging at the same time, because at the time that we made a decision to uh, start a company, we were also expecting our first child. As a parent, you want to provide stability to your child. However, having a child also gave us strength. It gave us push and, and additional motivation. It's uh, obviously tough, but exciting at the same time, right? No sleep for the first couple of months, chasing your first contract, making sure your first game is the best one ever, and end up probably not being that, what you expected in the end trying to get the best people that will work with you, that will share your vision. For the first employees that came in, they knew that we were going to be making video games. I think they were excited to be in right from the start. Um, they knew they were starting with uh, Dahmer and myself, who both had experience in the video game industry, so we sort of knew the ropes and what you needed to do and not do, so I think that that was probably comforting as well. But really, we're just very genuine with each other, and I think that works. Everyone's doing almost everything right. There is not that much specialization on what kind of task you're going to take on. Game development cycles will be very short because first games that were feature phones, mobile games, so most of the games will be done in roughly three months' uh, time span. A lot of titles we developed at, at that uh, time, uh, even as a relatively small group. I think first year we ended up with about 12, 13 people all together, but we already have three or four games behind us. I think the most exciting moments would be when you get email back when publisher accepted your proposal for, for the new game. That was definitely the highlight of every day. And just getting to work every morning and checking your email, seeing, okay, what happened? You know, would they like to have, have uh, work on this project with us or not? Also, we sometimes we would do almost irrational decision and accept almost every deal we could because it was not easy to get a publishing deal in place. So I think at one point we accepted it. In three or four months, we're going to port 20 something games from one platform to another. That didn't even seem possible for the amount of stuff we had, but we actually did it and it, it streamlined the whole process and it worked in the end. But if I have to uh, reevaluate this kind of business opportunity today, I would never take on something like that. I've been, been around long enough to see uh, when Big Blue Bubble was under 10 people to now where it is today. So it's been a, it's been a pleasure to, to, to watch the growth over the years. The major shifts that we've seen in the company have been um, all tied to uh, success in a specific game that started with Jewel Quest, uh, Home Sweet Home, uh, Burn the Rope, and of course my same monsters. We still have a very close-knit group of people here um, that really like working well together. Most of my employees, if you ask them what's the number one thing about working at Big Blue Bubble, it tends to be about the people that are around them and just that whole experience of, of sharing their joy with someone else. Our goal was to give them an environment that they can enjoy working and, and coming to work every day. With this move, we wanted to do something bigger, like to do big overhauls. So this new location has new infrastructure, new technology. We have um, sound studio, we have big open space and the whole company is at one floor. It felt good to give that to our employees because we have an amazing group of people here and they put so much passion and dedication in creating games and it shows in the quality of our games. Yeah, even 15 years ago, I had a vision of the company more or less as it is today. Obviously not identical, but in terms of success, that's what it was been in my mind for a very long time. The company has been successful because of like uh, amazing uh, pool of talent we, uh, we have here. The next thing will be probably the amount of innovation we're putting in our tiles. We are trying not to follow, but really lead in, in, in a lot of areas. If we look at our history, we work on 20-something platforms in, in, in 15 years. So we really try to gain experience in every possible aspect of game development to help us create better and better tiles. Happy anniversary. 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 Happy 15th anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary.
and do another 15 years.